Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Where's the piss bottle? It's over there. Quick bit of boxing news here. So, Conor Ben has reportedly now been provisionally suspended by UCAD, effective from March the 15th as part of their investigation into his positive drug test from last year. Now, this could throw his potential comeback fight is being reported here by Boxing News Ed, his potential comeback fight on June the 3rd into doubt. Ben released a statement on this. He says, I cannot comment on anything to do with UCAD other than to say I am in touch with them um, someone at the British Boxing Board of Control or UCAD obviously wanted to create a headline unlike the Can case where it was kept quiet for 14 months but this is nothing new I remain free to fight outside the UK which is true except of course California and Nevada and God knows where else might go so Eddie Hearn who was obviously talk, asked about this, has revealed that Conor Ben has now shared a 270-page report with UCAD. It was initially used in his defence in the WBC's investigation into his positive drug test. Hearn said he's unaware he's unaware that Ben has been provisionally suspended by UCAD. So very interesting here. You know, apparently, so according to Eddie Hearn, 270-page dossier, which reportedly proves Ben's innocence, which... He gave to WBC but was apparently unwilling to give to UCAT and even Pierce Morgan, who I don't particularly have much time for, was really pushing that in the interview he did with Conor Ben that, you know, why don't you give this to UCAT or British Boxing Board of Control if it proves your innocence, you know? I coined a, I, I used the analogy like the steamed, steamed ham scene in The Simpsons where Principal Skinner has Superintendent Chalmers over for lunch. He burns the roast. He disguises Krusty Burgers as his own, but he forgets to turn the oven off where the roast got burnt. So the house is on fire where he's like, um, you know, what's going on in there? Uh, just the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights, can I see it? No. It's like that. So I have this this dossier which can prove my innocence. You can't be like, oh, bro, brilliant. You know, we're happy to exonerate you. Can we see it? No. Take my word for it. And now apparently he has given it. He has given it now apparently. So interesting. Um, it's a provisional suspension obviously. So it's a case of. Like obviously if they suspended him flat out. They probably would be breaching protocols. You know as they would have had to do the correct protocols. And you know I would assume. If the provisional suspension starts from March the 15th. Let's just say hypothetically speaking. That they do find him guilty. And they do decide to suspend him. Would they backdate the suspension back to October? Or would they backdate it back to March the 15th? So let's say, hypothetically speaking, he gets a two-year ban, which is normally what UCAD tend to dish out with the British Boxing Board of Control. Would they backdate that to March 15th, 2023, by which case it would be 2025 before he's able to fight again in the UK? Or would they bring that suspension back to October, in which case it would be October 24 before he's able to... Both aren't ideal. But you know which one is the better of the two. Interesting. This whole Conor Ben situation. We'll keep an eye on it. You know, again, like I've always said that it, if this dossier, which you claim to prove your innocence, is the real deal, why won't you send it on to UCAT? Why is it taken till now? At the end of the day, the British, the sorry, the BBC said that um was they can find that they was contaminated eggs but even ben were saying you know oh, it wasn't egg so it's like they're exonerating you in, in their rankings saying that you know it's this and you're saying that it's not this but it's just for me it's like something ain't right well we know something ain't right here hopefully we get to the bottom of this and it's going to be interesting to see what you can come out with very interesting we'll keep an eye on this story we'll keep an eye on this situation um like I always say, I don't want to, it's like flogging a dead horse now at this stage. You're just talking about it, talking about it. But whenever there's big news in it, we got to talk about it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm not going to keep you too long. Thanks as always to the company sponsor of the video. Forgot to shout in my last video. Apologies for that. But the link is in the description of this video and of that video. Go and have a look. Great website. Great guys. I'll leave it there, people. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. I'll chat to you tomorrow or today, depending on when this video goes out. Peace.